Alright, so I checked the channel and I just realized it's been a month now since I've read a LLB. Well, it's time for that to change. Today we'll be reading Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Sun Vanished. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. July. Tuesday. Okay, I'm scared. Okay, so something really weird is going on. I've been sleeping in for hours, but it's still not bright outside. I check my clock and it's 1.25 in the afternoon. Not to mention, it's really cold outside, so I got up and out of bed to ask mom or dad, what the heck is going on? When I got downstairs, everyone was in the living room and staring at the television. Dad had his head down, mom was holding Manny while crying, and Roderick just walked back into his room. I took a peek at the screen and I couldn't believe my eyes. There was chaos. The headline read, The sun mysteriously vanished. I looked at dad and asked him what we were gonna do, but he just stayed staring at the floor and not saying anything. I knew I wouldn't get anything out of him, and mom was still crying, so I instead went to Roderick. He was in his room and packing his thing. I'm leaving. What? I asked him what he was talking about and he said it was his biggest opportunity to start a new life. He even offered me to go with him, but... I shut down that idea quickly because I had my own. It was basically the end of the world. I could do whatever I wanted. So I'm gonna get Rowley and we're gonna break into some stores, steal some valuable stuff, hit the road and live the good life. It's perfect. But the bad thing is, I don't think mom or dad will take too lightly with my idea. So after thinking about it, I'm just gonna sneak out. After packing some of my stuff, I called Rowley and asked him if he wanted to join me. We can do whatever we want. It really surprised me though because he said yes. I asked him why he said yes and he said that his parents wanted to eat him if they ran out of food. So I told Rowley to pack his stuff and meet me at my house in my backyard. I snuck out through the back door and sat down. Hopefully mom and dad weren't looking at me. While sitting there for about 10 minutes wondering where Rowley was, I heard screaming near the street. So I went around the side of the house and peeked around the corner to see what I was looking at and I saw some bright thing in the sky chasing a person down the street. And when the light shines on him, let's just say it didn't look pretty. Ah! At least I know now that I need to stay clear from those things or I'm gonna have dire consequences. When I got back to my backyard, I found Rowley there with all his stuff. But that's not all I saw. I also saw Shirog, Fregly, and two other kids I didn't know the names of. I asked Rowley what the big idea was and he said that we might need some help with our mission. I decided that I wouldn't let them go though because they might actually be some good bodyguards. Rowley told me who the two kids were, one of them was Steven and the other was Corey. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on those two though because I don't know anything about them or why they even wanted to join us. I couldn't interrogate them though because I could hear my mom calling for me inside the house. So I just told them to follow me into the woods for now because I remembered me and Rowley had our treehouse back there. This way, come on you slow bitches. After a while, I finally found the treehouse. It took me a while to find because 1. It was so dark and two, because me and Rowley haven't been there in a very long time. It was just how me and Rowley left it. It gave me a bunch of nostalgia. Even though it was kinda dark, I told everyone to duck down and stay quiet just in case someone finds us. Then I discussed the plan. Alright, let's see. Gather crew. Raid the gas station. Raid school building. And finally, get out of town. Corey asked me why I only had four steps and ended on get out of town. So I explained to him that this was only part one of our plan, and we'll build more on the plan when we get there. Rowley asked me what we were gonna do after we get out of town, and I told him that we'd probably make a giant base, and when people see how prepared we are, they'll make me their ruler. Steven and Corey both thought that was an amazing idea, but they both started to argue over which one of them should be leader. Fortunately, I quickly put a stop to that. I'm gonna be the leader. Then we heard a stick crack. Everyone fell silent. 
All I could hear was all of us breathing. I broke the silence and asked Rowley if that was him. He said no. So I shuffled around in my bag to see if I had a flashlight. My stomach dropped when I realized I left my flashlight on the top of my dresser back at home. So then I started going through my bag again. But this time I was trying to find something I can defend myself with. Unfortunately, the only thing that was close to defendable was a condom. All right, Rowley, bend over. I'm going to ravage your asshole. I'm not gay, Greg. So I looked at the others and asked them if they had a gun or a knife or even a putter knife. Sadly, they all said no, which is really stupid. It's the end of the world, you're running away and you don't even think about packing things. To be fair, you left your flashlight on the dresser and not to mention you didn't pack anything either, but I'm not gonna judge. At least I came prepared. Wait, I, I guess not, huh? You see, now you're acknowledging it. Anyway, I remembered how I was gonna use Steve and Corey as bodyguards. So I said that one of them had to go outside and go investigate. Then they started arguing again. But this time, they were even louder. Then I started thinking that bringing them with me and Rowley was a bad idea. Right before I was gonna stop them again, the scariest thing happened. Ah, oh, Greg, what do we do? Shut up, Rowley, I'm trying to think. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I know it's been a while since I've put out the LLB and that's because like I've been doing a lot of end of year exams and I probably won't be finished until like next week Tuesday. Um, fortunately, it's the weekend which means I can put out some videos. Um, if you guys want to keep up to date with videos, current topics that I do, things like that, make sure you go follow me on Discord. Sorry, not follow me on Discord but rather join my Discord and make sure you uh, follow me on twitter with all that being said i will see you guys in the next video peace out